Oh, this is Pat Walker, Mission Winners, doing a video overview of the ETFs. Why do we look at the ETFs? Here's a fact for you. Leading groups produce leading stocks. Leading stocks produce leading groups. Looking at the ETFs, we can see where their strength areas to maybe look at the ETF or the stocks in that group, okay, or the stocks owned by that ETF, but also the other side of the coin, areas to avoid so we don't lose money. Let's go where the strength is. That helps us. Let's go where the money is, where the money's going. This is pro shares, ultra 30 Dow, and you can see it's been kind of grinding up and that's nice to see right in here. What does that tell you? The Dow's outperforming, it's acting pretty good. Let's continue onward. A first trust Dorsey Wright, you could punch up FV and find out what they're holding, what they own. It's not acting too bad, okay? FV is the ticker symbol, Frank Victor. Continue onwards. Gold miners, in one second, what does it tell you? Stay away from gold miners, done. You don't have to overthink it. Maybe this is the bounce. Why play the maybe game? There's nothing there. Just leave it alone for this point in time. All right, gold, another related gold and silver. There's no power there, just leave it alone. Biotechnology's basing a little bit, okay? But it needs to get some power off the rising 21 day, okay? And I mean power. There's not a lot of accumulation in here recently. Also, always be careful with biotechnology stocks and the indexes, all right? Biotech can be a risky, riskier area to be involved with. It can be good when it goes, but just be aware of it. It's basing, we'll watch it and see, all right? Oil and gas still lagging, not a lot of power there, leave it alone. Software, we're, on, we're involved with software stocks. We, we own Microsoft, we're doing well. This is lifting up okay. And you can see that base right there. And it was exhibiting strength here in November. And it was saying, hey, uh, back here, hey, you might wanna look at some software stocks. And we've been involved with them. Right now, it's still working. It's still working. It's a little bit extended though, so be careful with that. Continue onwards. Here we go, medicine. Excuse me, medicine's hanging in there, but there's some overhead supply here, folks. All right, so be aware of that. This is why I love this template with weekly on the left and daily on the right. You look at the daily and say, well, that looks pretty good. Then you look at the left and you go, oh man, it's coming into more overhead supply. I better be careful. This is a great template, folks, that I, I encourage you to use when you're screening and scanning. Continue onwards, mid cap's hanging in there. All right, it's not great, but it's hanging in there. It's not too bad. Maybe looking at some mid-cap stocks. Aerospace and defense, that's lagging a little bit. It's a little choppy here, not a lot of power. Home construction, home construction got spanked right here, okay? A lot of that has to do with interest rate and interest rate movement and interest rate forecasting. So it's telling us, what's it telling us? And this was a great run for this. You see this base right back here, right in here? We bought this and this was a good move, folks. Right now it's a little sloppy and it fell on really heavy volume here four days ago. Be careful with home construction stocks. S&P growth. All right. S&P 500 growth. It's trending nicely. What does that tell us? Yeah, growth stocks are doing okay. Think about that for a minute. What have we been involved with? And this is for everybody. Growth stocks. Think max list stocks. Okay. Um, I think NVIDIA would be classified as a growth stock, wouldn't it? I think Microsoft would be. I think advanced micro devices would be. You get the point. Okay. Right here, it's hanging in fine. So that's good to see. It says, look into some growth. Continue onward. Small cap's kind of lagging. I mean, look at this. Hitting highs for the move this week. Small cap, eh, it's still off the tops. This needs to start showing some strength, some power. Until that happens, be careful with small caps. Real estate, there's nothing going on. This is another real estate ETF. There's nothing happening with it. Stay away from real estate stocks. IYR, transportations. That doesn't look too bad. This is why I like to do this. You look at the daily and say, oh, that looks okay. Look at the weekly and what do you see there? I see a couple with a handle. What does it need to do? Take out these tops on the weekly and or the daily and do it with volume. We need volume. Another very important point that we teach. Fell on fairly heavy volume here on the weekly. It's rallied, but on less volume than it fell on. What does that also say? This needs to have power through here. There you go, on IYT. Continue onwards. Uh, regional banks, they're okay. But my, oh my, look at the overhead supply. Look at this. This is why we do this. There is a ton of overhead supply with regional banks. Be careful with that. Pretty much 
I'd be real careful with it to tell you the truth. Mid caps hanging in there needs to take out these tops to show some real power, okay, on MDY. But it tells us the rally's not too bad. It's involved with mid cap stocks. Oil services is lagging. Leave it alone. Pharmaceuticals, they're hanging in there. Drugs, maybe looking at some of the pharmaceutical stocks. Not too bad, but not great either. There's not a lot of power in here. Look. So be cautious with it. Continue onward. NASDAQ 100. Look at the weekly base breakout. And look at this trend. Isn't that beautiful? And that is exactly why we own some maxless stocks, some big name stocks. And yeah, there was another video we made on it already. So you know what we're involved with. Continue on. QQQ, same situation as QLD. Retailing's acting okay. Look at that. That tells you maybe looking at some retailing stocks. Continue onwards. Silver, stay away. There's nothing here. I mean, it's below all the moving average. Leave it alone. I, I'm not trying to sound, you know, funny about this. I'm just being, laying it out, being blunt with you to help you. I want to help. So we leave that alone. Continue onwards. Steel, there's no power in steel. Leave it alone. Semiconductors are acting decent. Okay. Drop today. What was a big move on this today? Intel. What semiconductor stock do we own? Well, one I know we own advanced micro devices that's doing really well. Okay. But right here, there's, there's power in semiconductors. Be nice if this could base and take off again. But it has been showing us some power. That's good to see in semiconductors. Spiders, S&P 500 is hanging in. Trending. Okay. A little bit extended. Had a tail bar right here and another one here. So just, it's a little bit extended. Don't get reckless. There's the point for you. Same thing's true with SSO. Solar stocks. Look at that. There's nothing there. Leave it alone. Done. Small caps, they're still underperforming. There may be a base right here. And I'll draw this for you to help you. Also know this. You can look at the small cap stocks, but you can also buy the ETF, right? Now, you can say, oh, this doesn't look too bad. That's a simple base. Yes, it is. Now, we look at price action, and we also look at volume action. And there's been some distribution in here, folks. A little bit of accumulation recently, but there was heavy selling on this bar. So we've got to watch this and see. But it's not a bad-looking base. Something to watch. Continue onwards. Oil, it's still lagging out, folks. Be careful with that. Consumer electronics are consumer discretionary. Not a lot of power there. Aerospace and defense, there's no power. Just leave it alone. Biotechnology, lagging, leave it alone. Home builders um, had been acting really good for us, okay? It's gotten a little choppier recent. Materials, how do you build homes? You need materials, lagging. Nothing to do with it. Stay away from material stocks, done. Communications, oh, that's acting pretty good, and it has. Here's a classic case. When this was acting good a couple of weeks ago, you would have said, Oh, XLC. I'll punch up XLC and see what their holdings are. Their top 10 holdings. And look, you could have bought the ETF or maybe some stocks in that ETF and made money. That's what we do. And it works. Here's the part that I love. It's not fancy. And it makes sense. It's not, oh, 2 plus 2 equal 5 here. No, 2 plus 2 equal 4. It's very straightforward. And I like that. Continue onwards. Uh, energy, another energy ETF, picking up a little bit, but tons of overhead on the weekly. I'd be kind of cautious with energy at this point in time. Financials have been acting okay. There you go. You can look into some financial stocks, and you could have for the last couple of weeks. Industrials just basing here. Maybe it'll take off. I like to see. Technology. Oh, look at the move here on the weekly and the daily, which is why we own quite a few technology stocks. It's been telling us, hey, there's strength here. Go ahead and look into me. Buy me some. There you go. It works. Now, it's pulled back here a little bit. Always be careful chasing price. Please remember that. Consumer staples basing here a little bit. It's got a weekly cup with a handle. Some distribution came down in here, but it is a stock that whips around quite a bit. I mean, there's, oh, look at this. It's going up. Oh, they take it down. Oh, it's taking it out. Oh, they take it down. Oh, look, this is the break. Oh, they take it down again. Just be a little careful with consumer staples. You could punch up XLP and see what some of their holdings were. RR, excuse me. <clears throat> healthcare, hanging in. That's not too bad. Look into some healthcare stocks. Consumer discretionary, stay away. Done. Metals and mining, no power, stay away. Oil and gas, nothing there, leave it alone. Retailing, still lagging. I'd be careful with it. 
Software's hanging in, okay, and yeah, we're involved with software. You can see this weekly lift back here. Look at the volume on that bar on the weekly. This is why I love weekly and daily. You look at the daily, you say, I don't see anything. Then you look at the weekly and go, man, they bought that thing right there, going across these tops. Now I'll draw you the line. And this is exactly why we're involved with big name software stocks. Could you give me a name, Pat? Oh yeah, it's a little company called Microsoft. I am pleased to inform you that every Monday at noon central time, we release a free watch list video. If you've yet to subscribe to the channel, please go ahead and do so. It's absolutely free. The free watch list video is a condensed preview of our key list video that is exclusive for our VIP members. We send it out every night ahead of the next day's market open. Kindly subscribe and hit that bell notification to ensure you receive our free weekly watch list. If you're interested in joining our team at missionwinners.com, please check the description below for the link. Now, let's return to Pat. Apple could be forming a handle here, okay? Just give it time. I already have price alert set. If this could base for a couple of days and then lift off, it would be good. The weekly rallied up and closed near the low for the weekly, so it needs to do some work. Let's continue onwards. Here we go. Amazon started to lift up on the daily, backed off a little bit here, but there's still some power and that it's trending up. There's not a clean entry at this point in time. We're in it from lower and it's just trending. Let it work. Continue onward. Alibaba, there's nothing there. Just leave it alone. Baidu, there's nothing there. Just leave it alone. Google, trending nicely for us. Note the trend up the 8 EMA. That's the yellow line. We're in good shape. What are we going to do? We're just going to let it work. My apologies. I had to get the door here for a minute. The Google, again, weekly on the left, daily on the right. You can see the symmetry here. We had an entry and it's just up here and it's just trending for us. All right. Is there anything to do with it now? No, it's too extended to add. I mean, and there's not a clean entry here. But I'll give you the setup. If this could base, and I'm not saying it will, but if this could base for about a week and then lift off again, that could be a good buy, a new entry or a buy. But we'll have to watch it and just see at this point in time, as I stated, it's too extended. Don't chase stocks. I encourage you, buy close to a clean pivot or don't buy at all. That will really help you. Continue here. Goldman Sachs rallied up. And this is exactly why, folks, I look at both daily and weekly. You look at the daily and say, it doesn't look too bad, okay? But then you look at the weekly and you go, that looks pretty ugly. That thing broke out and gave it right back on a pickup in volume. What does this tell you? Be careful with, Google, with Goldman Sachs at this time. And again, this is weekly on the left and daily on the right. And just to clarify, this is the 50-day simple the 21 day exponential and the eight period exponential. That's great template right there that I love. All right, continue onwards. Intel, they had earnings. And this is a classic case on why we don't buy just before earnings. To me, buying just before earnings is one step to the left of gambling. You don't know what the numbers are gonna be. You don't know what the reaction is gonna be. And, and it's, oh, it could have gapped up. Yes, but look what it did. Yeah. Avoid that. Avoid that. Just wait. Wait. We didn't own it. I'm glad we didn't. Nothing to do with it now. The numbers weren't good and the response to the numbers weren't good. So we just avoided Intel for now. MasterCards. Now this one's hanging in here. I have to pause here and share something. We are coming into earnings season big time. A lot of big name tech stocks are going to be reporting this coming week. Please be aware of it. Please. I'm asking you, know the earnings dates. And also know some companies, not many, some companies report before the open. So be aware of that. A MasterCard may be across these tops, but there's not a lot of real conviction here on the daily. Doesn't look too bad on the weekly, all right? But what does it need to do? I'll just tell you this. I'll show you to help you. Mission winners this is what we do. Show people what to look for. See this base and take out these tops. Now you can say, that's a bad red bar there, Pat. Look, that's selling. I'd like to show you something, and this will really help you. This is why I love teaching this and showing it. It gapped down, it fell, and it closed above where it opened. You see the open and the close? 
it closed above where the open. What does that tell you? They didn't just sell it. They bought into it on that bounce. And they did it on a pickup in volume. The volume on this bar is less than the volume on this bar. So it's something to watch. On this bar, it gaps down, it falls, and closes near the highs. What do we want to see? Take out these tops here. It would be nice, though, if it could base a couple more days. All right? Just scrunch that back down again there. Just to help you, okay? So watch that. I'm not saying buy it here, pushing through those tops. Now let's suppose, let's, let's be thorough in our analysis. Let's suppose that this takes out this line. What do we need? These are the constraints, folks, and this is what we teach at Mission Winners. We're going to need a good market. That's the M in Mission Winners, folks, the first letter. We're going to need a good market. It's going to need to push through this tops, and it's going to need to push through that tops with real volume. There you go. And if that doesn't happen, leave it alone. That's simple. And a good market, as I said. Meta, we own from down lower. We own here and here. And note the trend of the 8 EMA. That's why we ride trends, folks. It works. Just from right here on this buy, it's 30 plus points. We're letting it work. Where's it going to go? I don't know. I don't know the future. All I know is to get in line and ride trends. Sell some into strength to guarantee profits and lessen in control risk. And we'll see where it heads out. Continue onwards. Microsoft. Note the clean and simple base right here. Maxless stock. Volume pickup on that bar. Here it is on the weekly. Here it is on the daily. And yeah, we bought this. We didn't buy it up here. We bought it in here. We added to it. And it's working. It's working. I do believe if I, if memory serves me correctly, we did sell a little bit in the strength. Okay. Now we're going to watch it and see what happens. But we're in good shape. Again, note the trend up the 8 EMA. Note the clean and simple base. Note the volume pickup on this bar versus the previous bar. That's what you look for. And we didn't buy it up here. We bought it pushing through the line. There you go. Continue onwards. Netflix, we own from down lower. Um, in here, we own this from down in here too. But you can see this. What did this? That was earnings. Earnings did that. We had a good profit cushion. We sold some. Small amount, I think 20%. Now we're just letting it work. Just let it work. I don't know where it's going to go. I have price alert set, upper alert and lower alert, just to keep us alert. But for right now, everything's fine. And again, our buys were down in here. All right, maybe back in here. So, so you're knocking on close to 70, 80 points. There we go. We're just letting it work. NVIDIA. I made videos on this, folks. You can go back and look in the library and you'll see. Because by God, we did. This is a clean and simple base on the weekly. Look at that. It's vanilla. Everybody can see it. Why do we like clean and simple flat bases? They're easy to see. Everybody sees it. Increases the potential they'll buy. Isn't that what we want? Let's be pragmatic about it. That's the truth. Here's the clean and simple flat base on the daily. Look at the volume pickup. We were buying it a couple of times in here. At least two, I think three times, maybe four. But anyway, and it's just trending. We've sold a little bit into strength, guaranteed profits, and we'll just let it work. But from here to here, that's over a hundred point profit, folks. There it is. And yes, it's a maxless stock. Continue onward. Tesla, flip the coin. Tesla, there's nothing here. Just leave it alone. It'll eventually turn, but for right now, there's nothing to do with it. And don't impose, we don't impose our will on the stock. It'll tell us when to turn. Price and volume. But the trend is down for now, so we leave it alone. Visa rallied up, and then it lost and gapped down here. Okay, and look at where it opened. Big gap down. Chart's kind of sloppy right now. I'd be careful with it. Leave it alone. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit like. Maybe hit that subscribe button. We come up with new content nearly every day. Also, check out the videos on the right. YouTube recommends the one on the top, and the bottom one is something we thought you might enjoy. See you next time.